What's up guys, it's your boy Meep here and today we're going to be putting a radio into the O2 Suburban. I uh, got both the radio and this dash and wiring harness kit off of Amazon actually. This is a Metro dash kit right here that we're going to be putting in. Uh, this is the antenna adapter is the actual wire harness that you know supposed to be plug and play uh, the cool thing about this is so all together this is about 25 26 bucks for the dash kit and the wiring harness uh, the radio itself is about 27 bucks on amazon if you're looking for a cost effective radio i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description below and you can check it out uh, so first we're going to start by opening it up and then popping the wiring harness on and getting that all spiced together before we go to try to take the bourbon apart. Sound good. Actually, looks pretty decent. Love that these are labeled already. See, I like power. See these speaker outputs. It's pretty legit. Of course, they just plug in the back of here. So you just kind of just pop them in like that, honestly. how to connect adapter there we go cool thing about this is all the wires are color coded so all you do is just match it up from the speaker wires to power output should be fairly simple I hope and we'll try do these bad boys one at a time. All right, so I'm gonna get all of these connected and spliced and I will resume the video once we got it back together. All right, got all the color codes matched up. Um, don't judge me for the duct tape job. I know I probably should have started it or shrink wrapped it, but I don't have access to that right now. So we just gotta get it how we live with this. Now I'm gonna pull the bourbon in and see if we can get this bad boy hooked up. Let's go. All right, in the burb. So we gotta get this bad boy loose. Let's pop, pop this off. Pink tank. Tank. Get that. Oh wait, wait. I forgot, I need to. That, 
and I need to drop the steering wheel, likely. With a little coercion, I should be able to get this mother. this out. All right, got to hold down, hold down, one tab, two tab, and pull. Oh wait, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. All right, press down, both tabs, disconnect all this malarkey that they got going on right here. Pull that antenna out. Pull. Cool. this stuff out. I don't know what all that is back there. Alright, I uh, gotta put you down. Uh, finally getting back in the car after a lot of uh, cursing, swearing, uh, diagnosive actions. Finally got all the wires uh, spliced up the way they're supposed to be. Um, plugged it in uh, only to discover that there was no mother effing power uh, and that is because with the O2 Suburbans uh, this plug right here that is no longer being used requires power uh, to power like the stock amp so what we had to do was cut this little pink wire right here and run some actual power to it which was that free orange wire that I had uh, well, not the free orange wire. This is actually like a, a little, you know, rinky dink wire that we kind of spleened in to the stock power. I mean, to the power from the aftermarket radio right here. So that got jammed in, thrown in there. And now with the amped, with the properly uh, powered amp, you know, I'm just going to try to sit this right here just so you guys can see without it falling out that the radio is working. All right, maybe it's not gonna, maybe it's not gonna, uh, you know what, we just wanna, we just wanna coerce it a little. We're gonna coerce, coerce, coerce. All right, so now you can see it. Turn the key. Got the power on. Oh, shit. Motherfucking Urban has music. Uh, that is step number one on actually making this thing feel comfortable and feel like it's mine. Next video, we probably will be painting this bad boy. If you haven't already, check out any of my various videos on drifting advice or any random maintenance or installation guides to help you in your journey become a better car person or just not being so dependent on mechanics to tell you everything you need. If you haven't already, like and comment on this video and tell me if you ran into similar issues when installing an aftermarket radio. And there you have it, the radio is working, so it's lit. All you gotta do is pop the dash kit in, put that back on, and we will be good to go. Cool. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you guys can stay updated on every video that I bring to you. It's your boy, Captain Meat, AKA The Real Run in the Streets. All right, guys, and that is my installation of that aftermarket radio. This is the Boss, uh, as you can see right here, 616 UAB. Uh, pretty decent quality. Let's switch over to radio, just so you guys can hear. That's only 17.
thank you guys for tuning in and i'll catch you in the next one peace